Hello everybody out there. Hey, this is a follow-up video. I had a question. Um, someone asked me about the float valve on the electric pressure cooker. This is off of the um, 460 pressure cooker, the Cook's Essential, off the electric pressure cooker. Now, well, I got the lid here and showing you. This is your weight, okay? Like any normal pressure cooker would have. It looks a little different on the electric ones. This is a release valve. Now this one actually has a button you push and it'll hold that up. Some of these are on a cam like and you simply turn them, okay, depending on what model you have. But this is just a weight. It has two wires in here. And on them two wires, there's a pin that sticks up through and it's kind of mushroomed at the top. Alright, <clears throat> now that lets these wires go down over top of that mushroom and goes to the underneath the mushroom and that's what holds the weight from coming back up. You can feel there's some resistance there but you just pull that up off of there and that allows you to get in here and clean it and stuff and there's a little pin up here that fits down into the hole but what it does is that pin fits down in there and then that seats up on the top of this pin up in the bottom of here and it, the gravity holds this weight down. That's they got it a certain weight so that whenever so much pressure gets into the pot and you get up to your cooking pressure, it'll let this start to bounce up just a little bit and release any um, extra little bit of pressure, or whatever. That's in, hence why you see a little pressure every once in a while coming out of it or whatever. Now on the bottom side of that, they give you this little filter screen, like a little strainer. Now this has just got a hole straight through the center of that pin, so it's always a good idea once in a while to take something and clean that out. Now they give you this little pin with this one, and you can use that very easily to clean the holes out. Now this has got just like a little cap with um, slots in the side of it, and it's just like a little strainer. And this simply, there's three prongs here that sticks out, and this simply just snaps over top of them or you can pick it off and snap it right back on. That's just to keep any kind of food or anything that might froth up or anything from going up in and getting where the float or the weight seals onto the pin, okay? And make it not work right or not seal properly. So that's just basically like a filler that needs to be taken off once in a while and clean. Now the gasket. You can buy these gaskets if it gets old and brittle or whatever. Um, I think 10 or 20 bucks or something I've seen them. There is different sizes so make sure you order the right one for your unit. Now there's a wire that goes around the edge of this lid and you see here where they got them connected on. If you was to cut this gasket in half and look at the end of it, it, it makes something like a Y in a way. But you want to make sure that that gets seated all the way up in behind that wire, okay? Like here you can see that's not proper, that's not seated right. So you want to make sure it gets all the way down in there. The more you use these pots and the more you cook with them, a little more forgiving this gas will be to get in there. Um, but you just want to make sure it's all the way down in, okay, before you cook with it and put the lid on, okay? So now it's all the way down in there. Like I say, the more you use this, um, after a few uses and all, this will get a little easier to put in and out. Now over here, <clears throat> as far as my understanding is, this is a just a safety valve. There's a spring underneath of a ball here and the ball, that spring holds the ball up to the seat that's in this, um, underneath this nut here. So if there's too much pressure gets into the pot and it has nowhere to go and it's too much, this spring will give and let this ball come up. Because once you get more pressure in the pot than what the spring can hold the ball down, it'll raise it up and it's like a check valve. It'll let stuff out, okay? Now, <clears throat> for the float valve. Over here is the float valve. And you have a gasket on the float valve, okay? Now if you simply pull that gasket off, you can let that pin drop right out, okay? Now that some of these, they give you extra little washers so that you can rebuild this if you want to rebuild the float valve because you need that because you don't want this to be missing or cracked or anything like that you want this to be able to go up against that um, lid there and seal 
whenever there's pressure. Now this pin, if you notice, has a hole through it. Okay, That hole also connects to the hole in the top. So whenever this pin is in this lid, and the lid is like you're going to put on the pot, it hang it gravity holds it all the way down all right and it exposes that pin or the hole in the pin so if that pin is down any pressure that's in the pot will go up through and release okay now the importance of that is that's what helps the lid lock onto the vessel that you put it on and the main body has a indentation thing where this pin will fit into okay and this is what comes out and gets into an indentation that's what locks the lid from turning and letting you get it back off when there's pressure okay now if you look down in the hole um, as I'm moving this pin that black pin I just showed you see the gate that comes over and closes up the hole okay I'm not sure if you can see that but the purpose of that is is this pin sits down in there. When the pin is up because of the pressure that gate hits the side of the pin and it won't let it move far enough to let this pin open up and go back into the side of the lid to where you can get the thing off. Okay. Now if you'll notice this pin has that hole there we said. It also is bigger at the top. Okay. Now this hole here is bigger at the top and it's got a shelf right here on it so where it steps in okay and the purpose of that is simply so when this pin goes down in this bigger head sticks on that ridge there on that shelf and it doesn't let it fall all the way through into your food alright now to put this pin back in you simply push it down in the hole there you gotta get it down into the hole and it, it goes all the way down okay I usually put my finger here okay and now you can also take this and you can stick this through the hole and that would help hold it while you're putting that on okay but now I usually just put this rubber gasket on and that's locks it in there okay now like I say this has that groove cut in the bottom of this pin all the way around machine and that's hole in this um, rubber gasket is just a little bit smaller than the pin providing why they give you that little ring and all you do is that gasket slides over the pin and gets locked in that ring and that's that's how that pin is now I'll show you here if you put this pin down in the hole okay you put the gasket back on that's the only thing there is to reassembling that okay now whenever it's hanging down you got the vent hole there and it'll go through and as it's hanging down as you can see that gate will go over top of the pin alright and that's how you can get the lid off because that pin pushes in okay but now when there's pressure <clears throat> it'll blow this pin up okay and stick it to the top of the lid <clears throat> and this is where you get the sealing effect <clears throat> and that's why you want to be able to replace that gasket so that'll seal if it ever gets hard or cracked or anything but while that's in the up position and that would be up while there's pressure in the pot if you have that up so you can visually see that the pin's up now it's down now it's up that's like pressure if I try to reach under here and push that black pin in so it would be like getting the lid off see it runs into that pin okay so that's what keeps you from opening the lid when there's pressure on this pot because this pin goes up in the way and it hits now if the pressure is out of the pot and that pin drops that gate will go past the pin okay and it'll let that open up okay the lid and like I say that's where this pin comes into effect you can't push that pin far enough with this, with this pin up in the pressurized position, this pin won't go back far enough to let the lid open up. So that's kind of how that works. Okay. So reinstalling it, really all you need to do is push the pin down through the hole with the big side up.
and when you get it through you just put that gasket over uh, the washer whatever you want to call that over and make sure it's seated in that ring that they grooved into the pin to make it fit and that's pretty much it okay now I hope that covers pretty much everything you need to know on the lid um, if not um, message me and I'll go over something else about it or try to answer your question more fully now on my videos if you ever see anything that you want further explained or any questions about anything on my videos or something like that feel free to comment or ask or message me or whatever and um, I'll try to do a follow-up video or try to answer your questions and somehow that I can whether it's you know sending you a message back or doing a video like I did here to answer the question or whatever so I hope that helped out a little bit so stay tuned to my channel because you never know what the next video might bring so thank you